Hello brothers and sisters, it's Paul here. Um, got a pretty serious message to give you guys. Uh, oh, <clears throat> heavy, heavy message in my opinion. Um, I wrote the entire message on my Bible. That's how serious it is. <clears throat> um, <laughs> it's just one of those times I'm just terrified to say the wrong thing. So, Heavenly Father, I ask you with all my heart and all my soul to put the words in my mouth for how I'm going to share this. I don't want to embarrass you in any way. Please give me the words in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay. Um, I'm a little emotional right now because I was shown things through people in my life that it was terrible. It was absolutely terrible what I saw. And uh, oh, I've just been crying ever since I woke up or weeping or whatever. So I didn't write it out like the way I usually do in dreams. I wrote, <clears throat> it was weird, words came to me in a way that I don't receive it this way normally. It was like a bunch of little vignettes <clears throat> so, I wrote this on the Bible, and I'm going to read it on my Bible, because this is the Word of God, and this is God that showed me this, and I know I'm being dramatic, but this is what's coming on the earth. The first dream, <clears throat> I saw my best friend, and I wrote his version. A friend came to me in chaos. He didn't make any sense of what his stories were about. He spoke of his life partner having left him in a strange way. So my best friend's very well married and he has two kids. But in the dream, he was talking about her like she left him. And this would never happen. They're a very happy couple. What God showed me in this instance, and I wrote this, God showed me everyone died he was alone and his mind couldn't handle it i was shown he was in a big it was weird like i was shown physically he was laying in what looked like a bird nest like he had made this nest of wood and he laid in it and he was lying there like a baby bird it was the strangest thing and Suddenly this bird nest that he was lying in just fell in the water and it, the floodwaters took him away. And it, it just kept saying the floodwaters took him away because he couldn't handle it. So as I was writing this, Luke 21, 26 popped into my mind. So I, I went to look at it and it said, Men's hearts failing them for the fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Now, the thing I can't share when I share these with you guys is how I felt. And how I felt when I was talking to him is it's, he was crazy. Like he was mentally gone. I was talking to the shell of my friend and his mind was gone. So I guess God wanted me to share that one to say that the non-believers or those sitting on the fence or those that will be left behind to witness whatever is going to come on the earth will shatter their brains. So this is how important it is to talk about the gospel or at least give them the understanding of it so that afterwards, if they don't lose their mind, they're going to remember what you said. That's dream number one. <clears throat> this, this was a stranger one for me. So dream number two was... I was in an area that I don't live in. Um, all I could see everywhere were waters, flood waters going in every direction. And I actually don't think it's a physical thing. I think it's a spiritual thing, but it was shown to me as water. I was trying to reach my family and I badly wanted to see my mother. When I arrived at the house where she was staying, and this was not my childhood house or anything, it was just a place. Um, to get there, the waters were going that way. 
So I didn't have a choice. I had to go that way to go see her. Um, when I arrived, my oldest brother was talking to my mother and he instructed me to go speak to my brother, Charles. And I have a brother named Charles and in our family, in the current situation of my mom being in a nursing home, uh, he's the power of attorney because he's a lawyer. But in the dream, he was the boss. So I went into this room and Charles wanted to talk to me. And when I arrived in the room he was in, he immediately knew, I knew immediately he was in power. And he asked me a question, and I don't remember what he asked me. And he didn't want to know anything about me. He didn't want to know, he didn't care what I had to say. Uh, what did I write here? Um, he didn't want to know anything about me, only how and if I was following his system. And the beast system popped into my head. And then I wrote here, floodwaters going in my way by others' decisions. I immediately thought of King Charles. Immediately. And that was the end of that. And then this scripture popped in my head. Luke 17, 26. They were eating and drinking and marrying and being given in marriage until the day of Noah entered the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Now the interesting thing about this scripture the one that came to me. My friend Dennis is a videographer and he just did one of our friend's weddings on Saturday. So that scripture was right in line with this. And then the third dream. <clears throat> uh, this was so bizarre. So the third dream, uh, I was in my mother's, I, I, I wrote, okay, I'll say what I wrote and then I'll explain what I saw. I was in my mother house in her wedding bedroom chambers she had flies flying around in her room and I saw four of them spinning around I knew pestilence was here because my mother was a cleaner of perfection I looked down and I saw dog dung in the bed of her dog my mom has a little dash out and she loves that house that dog and there was it was never my mom's house was never messy but here it was it had dog poop in its bed and this never would have happened in real life because my mom is she has an OCD type of cleaning like she's she's just a perfection of cleaner so I woke up from this dream and I asked God like well, what does that mean and God told me that in these times people will not be able to keep up with the pestilence on the earth and I did not get a scripture for that one but, uh, yeah. So the first, second, and third dream, if I have to review it now, and I am doing this over my Bible. So, number one, those that didn't trust in Jesus are going to have a bad way. Number two, my gut, like the Holy Spirit and my gut are telling me that King Charles is way more important of a character than we realize because he's in power now and three whatever's coming pestilence it's gonna come fast and hard and people won't be able to keep up to it my brothers and sisters I'm sorry this is such a serious warning get your house in order talk to everybody you can it's important it's our job as the light in the world to talk to everybody we know and just on a side note in the last week alone I spoke to three people that openly absolutely rejected talking about God but I tried I love you guys Jesus wants you to hear this pray on it and do what you're told in the Bible in the word what does Jesus tell you to do? Have a great day.